Item duplication is very fun. Sometimes it is low, sometimes it is fast. I've been tinkering with this thing quite a while and I have discovered some things that I think that everyone should be aware of if you want to duplicate things, if you want to duplicate your stuff and not actually losing stuff, not using bows or shields, durability and whatnot. So yeah, that being said, basically we're going to start with the basics. What is it that we're going to need? We're going to need either four of the items that we are going to be duplicating and we're going to be needing one of the item that we are going to be using to pull off the duplication glitch. It has to be one of. It doesn't work with a just, uh, let's say, something that has more than the, the one number. That, that's basically everything that you need to know. Also, there's some risks that I am going to be speaking about later on in the video. But for now, what you need to know as a basis what you need to know to make this thing work and to actually pull off the glitch is going to have your item that you're going to be using the duplication method throw it on the ground because that's going to ensure that the item that is being duplicated is at the bottom of the menu, at the end of the menu, at the edge of the menu, whatever you would like to call it. Reason being is that this is not entirely a kind of a duplication method. It's it's a transfusion, I should like to say, because it's going to eat away everything that's decided to make the new item. And since there is nothing beside it, there is nothing that can be eaten. We're going to be speaking about that a little bit later, speaking about the limitations that we have about this glitch. What can you do to take the best, the, the most advantage out of this glitch and whatnot? But first of all, most, most let's talk about the method. There used to be two methods, there used to be a method with a bow and there used to be a method where you would jump and uh, duplicate the items like this. The thing is that when you fall down, your shield suffers durability. There's, that's something that people didn't actually like that much. What we are going to be needing instead for this method is just going to be some kind of an altitude to pull off the item duplication thing stuff. So what not and we're going to be able to use this thing four times so what is going to happen in here is that we're going to jump we're going to that wasn't fast enough we're going to jump we're here we're going to open up our glider we're going to pause we're going to hold one of those items it has to be first this one and then the items that you want to duplicate the order has to be necessarily like this it has to be the item that you have one of and then the item that you're going to be duplicating and then all you have to do is exit the menu I'm not going to do so right now let's actually decrease all of this stuff and then you're going to repeat that process again four times there can only be 21 items on the ground per little lag in there there can only be 21 items in the ground every time that you do something so if you have more than 21 items on the ground that means that you are going to start losing your items. So that is something that you have to be aware of. That being said, let's pull out the method. The method. So again, hold up this thing. And then just hold the rest of the items that you want to duplicate. Pause and unpause as fast as you can. It doesn't really necessarily have to be that fast. It's just that efficiency and whatnot. As you can see, I still have my diamonds in here. Let's do it again. I have one item of this right here for diamonds right here pause and pass I still have my four diamonds right here we're going to hold this thing we're going to uh, repeat the process again and then we're going to do so again and then we have all of the items right here so here's where the limitations begin a lot of people believe I've seen a lot of videos uh, there, this is a confusion that I have seen I've tried this several ways many ways many different ways with items that you have already on the ground and whatnot to be able to pull this off in a way that you would be able to have more of the items that you would regularly would have by using this this method so what people likes to do what i have seen that people recommend for you to do is that for example um take away i'm going to show you this at the end of the video just to prove my points uh, but uh, what they 
think is that once you have one item and that you do not care about and you, you do not really mind if it's going to be, to be eaten, the, the thing that they would do is pull off the method. So for example, remember it has to be one item of this right here. So let's say I have this right here and then I have the diamonds. This could potentially mean if there are already 21 items in the ground and, and if I do not want to drop my diamonds to have as many of them as I would like to, to have, this could potentially mean that I would just eat away the Chilfin Trout and the Acorn and the Stambul and the Endura Carrot would be safe. But no, actually it's going to eat all of this. So let's backtrack a little bit. Let me just pull off as many as, uh, of this thing as I can. So, the maximum amount of items that you can have is, uh, again, drop down all of the items that you have um, that you have doubled, that you duplicated, drop them up, and then pick them up back again. That is going to ensure that we have them on the bottom of our menu. Then we're going to repeat the process back again. So, we take this, take our diamonds, pause and pause. We take this, take our diamonds, pause and unpause, take this, take your diamonds, pause and unpause, take this, take our di diamonds, pause and unpause. And then we, pa we pick everything back up again. And as you can see, I have 36 diamonds, and this is the maximum amount that you're going to be able to have because of the restriction of the items on the ground that you would have. This is the maximum amount of an item that you would have. You might say that this is just more than enough for everything that you are going to do. So, for example, if you're going to upgrade a dab on an armor, that nothing is going to require for you to have that much of that item to go to the ferry. But yeah, actually, there's certain specific items that require to have 60 of that specific something. So, for example, ambers. Ambers are very much used on improving improving items at the ferry. But that isn't important. What I want for you to be aware of is that uh, so that method that uh, I've seen a lot of people recommending with this thing is that let's say that I have my Andrea, my big hearty, hearty radish and then I use the method to try to pull up um, to duplicate more items and then that means that the only thing that is going to be consumed is going to be the acorn and then I can repeat the process again with something else that I would have one off up here. So for example, the uh, Fleet Lotus Seeds to uh, instead of consume the Steam Wolf. And that way I wouldn't really care about the items that I'm losing right here because they're just simple items that I do not care to have. I do not really care about those items to have them to keep duplicating stuff. Uh, so I could get four diamonds out of this, four diamonds out of this, four diamonds out of this, and four diamonds out of this. But no, that is not actually how it's going to work. It's going to consume everything in one single go. And let me showcase you that real fast. A little bit laggy in there again. Um, so we have the big hearty radish diamonds. We drop them. We pick them back up. And as you can see, I lost everything. I did gain my extra four <laughs> diamonds right there. But I did lose all of the items that I, have, that I had right here. Because the game code, I am guessing, requires for an item to be out there to replace the remaining one. Now, fortunately for us, I did come up with a way that we could actually bypass that and get as many of the items that we have. Like I mentioned before, sometimes you would need like 60 or 80 materials to improve something and you would need to have that specific something to have a little bit of an extra. So once you have done all of that method, you are going to come to this place. We have a look at landing Skyview Tower right here. We're going to move forward to this um, Sunapan Shrine, which is going to be right here to the left. This is the place that you're going to go. After the duplication that we did, we ended up with this set amount of diamonds. Uh, I did tinker around a little bit more with this thing, so that is why I have a little bit more diamonds. But uh, now that we 
got rid of all of the materials that we were using. Uh, I did lose some of the materials in my uh, experiments and, and whatnot. But basically this place has apples. Lots and lots of apples. So what we're going to do is that we're going to, pl to clean, to pick this place clean of apples. There's also going to be some very angry trees in here. So you do have to be very careful about that. Oh, there's also a, a Reno Beetle in here. So basically you're going to clean this place up of apples. That is what you're going to do. So I have finally cleaned this place up completely, entirely. And now I'm going to use those apples that I have right there. I have 135 apples that I can use to keep continue to continue with my exploits. So for example, let's do right here this. And let's find any more materials that we have one of. I do have some um, materials that I prepared for this. So we're going to do this. We're also going to do this. We're also going to take this one right here. And we're going to take the one right here. And I can pick up my materials back again. As you can see, I have 64 diamonds now because I turned my apples into diamonds. And you can re repeat this process as much as you would want to repeat this process so long as you have enough sufficient apples to repeat the process. Although one little quick note to have in mind before you can complete this process, have enough materials prepared behind from the diamonds for you to transmog, to transmutate all of those apples into diamonds. And the reason for that being is that you cannot use these items that are after the diamond to transmog or to transmutate those items, uh, those apples. So it has to be an item that is behind right here. So let me show you that real fast, for example. Let's get back up here. And then I have... 119 apples. If I wanted to use my Nidra scale back again with the method, I wouldn't lose any of those 119 apples. Whereas, for example, if I get one of the materials that we have uh, um, right here, the ones that I have prepared uh, previously, so let me see, maybe this one the Corsair Bee Honey. And then we use our method. Remember, we have 119 apples. We drop this bad boys down. And now we have 115 apples and we got more diamonds than the ones that we initially had. So potentially with this method, instead of the 20 uh, things that you would be locked to, would be 100 something, which would allow you to improve any gear any piece of gear that you would like to upgrade, although the new limitation that you would have in this place, in this moment, would be waiting for a Blood Moon to trigger to wait for all of these apples to show back here again. That is what you would need to do. Because right now, these apples that we have right here, and as a matter of fact, this is something that I am going to be doing, be doing these apples, we can transmutate them we, into diamonds. But we cannot use these apples for anything else. We cannot use those apples to transmutate, for example, the ambers. Because, again, we would have to repeat the whole process of rearranging the menu. And that wouldn't necessarily work. We cannot drop these apples because they would disappear. Um, and, yeah, the process would be a pain back again. So then again, be sure to prepare all of the items that you have right here. So I have one of these, one of these. I have one of these, one of these, one of these. I wouldn't be losing any of those items because I am just merely using them to transmutate my apples into diamonds. And then again, if I complete this process, as you can see, I would end up having like 180 diamonds that it would be more than enough than the ones that I needed. If I want to repeat the process with a different item, 
I would most definitely have to wait for a Blood Moon. I have, I would have to settle myself by repeating this process and, for example, duplicating this this rubies, getting 40 rubies, making sure that I have all of those 40s already prepped out or just 21 rubies and then once I get the next blood moon I can transmutate all of those rubies into 200 rubies like I did with my diamonds. And that is pretty much everything that you need to know about this uh, transmutation method for duplicating items. If you like the content, like it, the pretty super appreciated. No, I told you today you're a gorgeous and beautiful person. You are indeed a gorgeous and beautiful, beautiful person. I will be seeing you got them gorgeous and beautiful people in the next one. Have a beautiful day and goodbye. Dale celda, dale, pásame la tripuelsa que tengo hambre Traeme una botella de soda grande Que me están esperando la prieta en Gerudo Valle Dale celda, dale